Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to solve a model analysis using shell element. So cantilever beam model analysis, they are going to do, they are going to find natural frequencies from the model analysis. So we have taken a material of steel with Young's modulus of 210 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0 0.3 and density is 7860 kg per meter cube. So, in previous case, in one of the case we have taken solid element, the next case we have taken beam element, in this case we are going to model as a cell element, then we are going to define thickness. So, so thickness is 0 0.1, we are going to define it. So, this is our calculations, this is our frequencies same calculation We're going to check with the analytical result this is our analytical natural frequencies we have calculated so then we'll check with the we'll compare the result with the finite element analysis now just open the salomeca Salomeca is one of the wonderful open source finite element analysis. It has geometry model as for geometry model and mesh for pre-processing. Aster study. It has code aster for solving and paravis for post-processing. Now go to geometry. This is a tree axis. Now go to the PPT. So this model I just want to define it. So just go here, go to new entity, basic 2D sketch. This also we can take or we can take it from here also. This is 2D, 2D sketch. You just see 2D sketch. I can create a rectangle directly. You just go here third option. This point is 0, 0 and here x length is 1 and y is 0.1 so height we have specified it thickness we are going to specify as a element property so in beam element we need to specify height and thickness both in element property in shell element only thickness we need to specify so just we have created only outer edges select the sketch one go to new entity bid face this Salomeca geometry module is almost similar to ANSYS so we can control each node, edges, faces and volumes just apply and close now I have created this face now we can go for creating groups to apply the boundary condition just right click this face one create group first we will create a shell so this face one and just name it as cell so apply so first we need incorrect input data because we have not taken any input data here just click ok select all we have only one face Na the id is one the face id is one that is came here then apply now you see shell has created now we need to apply boundary condition fixing we need to fix it here select this edge add this edge number is three that's why it came here now name it as fix i just name it as fix fix apply close so now i have created shell to apply thickness this is for to apply the boundary condition so now there is no load we are going to apply because in model analysis we cannot apply any loads so now we can save this one go to file save as pictures code aster here i'm just saving is so already i have one more file so i'm just saving it as study one two I have saved it now go for meshing so select this mesh one mesh create mesh choose quadrangle mapping now you can see here 3d is disabled because we don't have any 3d volume that's why 3d is disabled 2d 1d and 0d is are enabled now we need to define 2d now I just want to create a quad element quadratic element for that choose quadratic mapping 
1D wire discretization. Here we can go for hypothesis as local length. So I am specifying this as 0 0.05. Save. 0 0.02 we can specify it. Save OK. Apply and close. Now you can see hypothesis is local length. Algorithm is what type of mesh and element we need to specify. It. Now right click here. Compute. Now you, here you can see linear element of edges faces of 250 quad element we have generated. So now you just see here in PDF in code aster this is actually code aster PDF so structural elements so discrete elements state beam elements these are beam elements multi fiber beam elements bar element we have two type of bar elements in code aster cable element is cable similarly so this is Euler beam see this is Euler beam POD E means Euler Timosenko means T it will come warping if it will include warping also I section H section L section means we can go for uh, PODG multi fiber means we need to go for M for bars and cables tensile load we can only apply for pipe element this are we will see later for plate and shell element for plate and shell element these are plate elements if you have a state plate kind of thing we can go for this DKT DST these elements we can use but ours is also plate only but we can we will use coq 3d element this is a cell element but this coq 3d element only take tria 7 and quad 9 so normally at quad element it has only four nodes at the corner but it is on nine nodes that means that one one more node at the center of the element also just for that we need to select this mesh check the mesh information so this is a linear element so we need to convert this linear element to biquadratic element then only we can use coq 3d element now select this mesh one go to modification convert to linear from quadratic select this one just directly go into convert to biquadratic just apply and close so this is the element you want to see the node type how it is generated just have a look here so this is one quad element we just count this number of nodes one two three four four nodes at the corner and four nodes at the mid totally eight and there is a one more node at the center of the element also so totally nine quad if it is triangle it will come around seven in the similar manner so so this is the correct element we need to use it for coq 3d so the same problem we can solve it in DKT also it will give the correct result but if there is any curvature in the model so it's better to go for coq 3d element now we'll solve in coq 3d problem so now just go to so i have converted this element mesh into coq by quadratic element now go to aster so save ok now you can see all are disabled just add this stage now first read the mesh go read a mesh I'm just naming this as MESH mesh take the mesh from the mesh module MED format apply here you can see layer mileage is the command to read the mesh save ok now we need to define assign finite element so this model we need to define the model everywhere just choose the mechanic and here here we can 
choose different elements we can see here here we need to choose coq 3d this is the shell element now save ok so mesh and apply so this is the model to define coq 3d to all ok now we are defined the finite element model then we need to define thickness for that afikara element we need to use for beam element and shell element we need to define this afikara element for solid element we need to, to define this one just click this one this is the element property element property this is actually shell element this is for beam bar coq coq means shell just tick this one go here edit so we need to choose two things exactly one and exactly one so group of elements so that's why i have created the shell shell element save ok so here if thickness just click this one here thickness is 0.1 so we need not to specify anything here save ok here also we need not to specify anything here you can see model is model then apply it here you can see we have specified the thickness Say okay. Element property also we are defined. Now we need to define the material. Go to define a material. So this name is as steel. Ours is linear isotropic material. Here you see the material property. Hang's modulus is 210 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0.3 and density is 7860. So density Hanks model is 210 e power 9 pi center ratio is 0.3 and density is 7860. We need to specify density because this is dynamic analysis to calculate the mass matrix density is very important. So for calculating the stiffness matrix, Hanks model is required. Save OK. This need not to specify anything just apply it so this is the material he e means hang small less n u means new means Poisson ratio rho means density apply save ok so now we have defined the material then we need to assign the material using this assign material so this is material we need to assign the material to mesh mesh model here choose everywhere we have because we have only one object only one mesh we can specify everywhere if you have two three four type models two three four materials we can go for group of element now we can go for everywhere just click here choose steel save ok here we need not to tick it anything just apply it this is the assigning material command then save ok now it is done material is done functions just click it function is there any function we need to define no boundary conditions so we need to fix it here for that just go for assign a mechanical load this is bc so, enforce dyf and we need to fix this. this we have created as a edge group so that is we need to go for element group edit fix it as a element group now we can see that selected here so save ok so now we have chosen group then we need to fix it dx dy dz drx dry drz three translation degree of freedom and three rotational degree of freedom cell element also having six degree of freedom so we need to arrest all is done 
then you just scroll down here you need to specify anything save ok you need not to specify anything model then apply save ok now we have specified bound condition also you need not to apply any load because we cannot apply we cannot apply any loads in model analysis now go to here we need to create a stiffness and we need to calculate stiffness and mass matrix the command is assemblage use this assemblage there is no name for assemblage so matrix assembly just click it here and click it one more so first one will calculate the mass I'm just naming mass here you choose mass mecha save ok and one more go to edit here we need to calculate stiffness that name is rigid I'm just naming this is ourselves we can give any name and for easy understanding I'm giving rigid here we need to choose rigid mecha armor is nothing but damping so so here we are not including any damping so so just rigidity rigid mecha just choose just save ok so we have calculated mass and stiffness matrix model num dl is nothing but we just want to define some name for that so i'm just giving some name this is the way we need to create it in salomeca some name any name we can give for understanding easy understanding i'm giving the same name so we need to include material we need to include element property we need to include boundary conditions these thing we need to include then go to add here bc so everything we have included say apply it so element property material model and boundary condition we have specified all and stiffness i mean mass matrix and stiffness matrix so apply it say okay now we have created assembly also so this is we have done now just go for analysis just click it here now we just want to specify the solver to calculate the frequency just go to dynamics here there is an option called calc modes this is the solver for calculating frequency choose it i'm just naming this as modes so first one is a taking the value rigid matrix matrix stiffness matrix into the solver rigid means stiffness matrix choose stiffness matrix mass means mass matrix choose mass here we need not to tick anything here you can tick it option otherwise also it will go default option is plus petit then calculate the frequency this also we need not to tick if you tick it we can edit so otherwise it will default it will calculate 10 number of frequencies i want to calculate 15 number of frequencies save ok remaining you keep it default need not to change anything just keep it same apply this is the solver for calculating frequency and save ok now we have done calculating modes now go for post processing so need not to calculate any stress because uh, we are not going to see the stress values so just keep it nothing need not to define anything here fatigue and fracture also need not to define anything so in in frequency analysis or model analysis we are going to see only the frequency value and mode shape in which direction it's getting deformed it's which getting it's bending it's it, which direction it's getting elongating so so the deformation will be checking in mode shapes and in the frequency value only we are going to check so two value one is frequency and mode shapes only we are going to check so go to output we need to save the output to view in para view so set output results need not to specify any names so here just click this three dot go to pictures result dot rmed 
so this is the name i'm just giving because i already shalled it here because the that's name is showing here just save it here we need to include just go to results include edit what are the things we need to include is first one is mesh second one is result calcul modes that is a result then element property we need to include element property then finally we need to include a tau champ yes so this is for common to save the results if you are including post processing example stress one miss stresses directional stresses also we can specify one by one otherwise we can go for tau champ s yes. so this is done scroll down here here we need, we need not to specify anything okay just say okay format to make it mbd and apply it this is the output file format this is the command for it say okay now everything is done if nothing is showing red color also if any error if anything we are specifying it wrongly it will show red color that we can identify it so now there is no error so everything is correct now we can go for solving now just save this file so i have saved saved it go to history view here just click this current case click this plus button click it here now choose this 5 seconds run it just wait for a while it will solve based on the system capacity your computer capacity it will solve now you can see it here our model is very small model diagnostic job is okay that means that there is no error it is solved very quickly and this is our message file to view the message file here also we can view see this is our frequencies so this frequencies we can compare our analytical frequencies i'm just going for fourth slide so these are the frequencies first frequency is 83.8 now you can check with and salamaka 82.9 almost very close second one is 83 this is directly 83 83.5 third one is 522 497 it's coming 497 so fourth one is 497 522 there is difference so fifth one is 1465 fifth one mode we are not getting sixth and seventh fifth is we are not getting seven hundred we are not getting these two are we are getting so uh, almost all the values are very closely matching now we will see the mode saves now we can go for message also the same only we can open it here separately so these are the frequencies now we can check with the mode shapes just go to paravis just open the build in pictures code aster 14 i have given a file name as result.rmd just open then apply it so this is our model just go to mode shape here you can see this is the first one this is the second mode third mode fourth mode fifth mode sixth mode this is a one by one we can see it so now we can go for deform shape how it is getting deforming for that just here you can see this warp by vector is disabled so to enable this one we just tick the generate vector and apply it now you can see it has enabled So now we can go for mode displacement vector. We can choose it here also, no issues. Now just apply it. Warp by vector. Here you can specify the scale factor. I am specifying one fifty percentage. Then apply it. This is our first mode. the 
this is our second mode you just have a look how it's getting bending this is also bending mode only but it is bending in it is bending in that direction third mode is it's tensile mode fourth mode is sorry. third mode third mode is tensile mode fourth mode is there is bending like this next mode is like this this is where it's getting bending so similarly we can view the results in code aster post processing also there are small post processing is there a simple post processing tool just go for code aster here you can see right click this result uh, rmd go for post processing so this is the code aster post processing so this is the first mode magnitude scale factor is given it's getting bending similarly this is the second mode third mode fourth mode here time frequency value here you can see it the first mode second mode so so display color bar yes so to control wireframe surface surface with edges so this way we can see the displacement in code aster post processing this is one more post processing tool so if any any value if you want to find you can click it here you can find this is showing average value because i have selected more points any one of the point if you want to select so this value is 7.3 so we can select the node and it will show In this we have completed this tutorial. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.